keeping the chopper busy right here so the farm is right over there you can see the pack push tractor actually going up and uh trucks rolling tractors rolling You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Gorgeous morning. What is today? Friday. Sun's out. A little chilly. It was like 42 last night. Um, but honestly, at the end of the day, into next week, we got highs of 75. Cows are up. How are we doing, guys? The cows. They're finishing up there. Got to just check their water. <clears throat> a bunch of people said, you need a water, this, that, blah, blah, or a float. I have one. I just, I haven't figured out completely where I want to be. So I've been graining them, watering them. But they've been living. I don't know if they're coming down. Nope. Alrighty. They got a half water bowl. Fill it up. They're looking good up there. Things are good. We're going to dive in today. See how far we get in the mud. We're rolling through Sharon Springs here. Stopped at the log cabin and uh, grabbed uh, four hungry men for the boys. Anko's living the best life. Front seat riding and window down. Yeah, a little chilly this morning. A little chilly. Got, got the puck sweatshirt on, which reminds me we got to do some sweatshirts if we're not already doing them. I think we're doing them by now. So we are about five days ahead on video, which is really which is really nice, to be honest. Um, but that gives me the ability to not have to edit every night if I can catch up. So we're rolling down. We got another day. Um, I'm not sure how many more days we have at the farm that we're at. We're at Meads. And uh, I'd probably say three more days with the mud, maybe longer. Yesterday went a lot better than any of us expected. Um, as far as when we first started so we did get some loads out we spent last night um, well Isaiah spent last night I was there I didn't do much help because only one person can work in that in the center section of the chopper at a time so he pulled the processor back got it unplugged um, and we'll get going this morning and uh, should be a good day hopefully don't know how many trucks or don't know what really is going on none of us do because the wagons, one wagon that was there, they might be chopping today. The Genesis there, eight, the 8970, was a 70, I believe. And uh, that thing was a unit. I'm a big fan of that. So, just before 7.30, gonna get to Aaron's and load up and get going. Getting everything prepared. I gotta clean some windows, get some mud off, clean the cab. Yeah, wow, you guys are dirty. We got Robert over there with us today. It'll be a good day. Okay, hose some windows down. We gotta actually clean them once we open up this field. Because otherwise we're just gonna make a mess. But uh, let's get going. I did bring my tall boots, some icy boots. That way um, I'm prepared to get out and play in the mud. I know if I didn't bring them, then we definitely need them. Well, on to another field. We are back in the mud. We opened this field. Well, I got in one load and Christian got in one load and they went over some banks and found some mud and things were not very good, I guess. So I have a feeling we're gonna have a long day in here, but we gotta get it off. Hopefully we get another cart. I'm not sure. Yep. There he is. I figured he was going to be over here doing something. Oh, good thing I cleaned the front windshield because we're going to open this up. So they came down over the hill yesterday and that tractor was, he was behind him and he was sliding everywhere. It was quite uh, interesting from what Isaiah said. Isaiah said he's never been in a chopper where he's really, truly nervous about getting stuck. But... This is why I didn't clean all the windows because I'm going to pull in right behind him. We're going to split this field open. 
How you guys doing today? We out here. Let's go. Has it got a good view?
guys. I forgot to stop recording me. Oh, Steve's got tall boots on today. He knows what's up. So, we split the middle and we've been battling some stuff. And he went down to turn around not knowing that the mount that he's got in it, he's pretty loaded. And was not going to make it. So, this is the first actual chain hook of the day. And, uh, yeah, we are... We got like two or three passes down there and we're working through this way. It has dried out a lot since yesterday. They're up and out. A little wet down there in the hole. If you can't tell that swamp grass stuff, that's a big indicator of a no-go zone. So yeah, playing in the mud is uh, very, well, a mess to be honest and when you get out on the road tires start cleaning out and everything else like that so currently I'm dumping on the I'm in the ditch jumping onto the road and what is going on is there was a, some corn in the road from previous uh, dumping failures but the farm is actually here and they're scraping the road somebody did go by and yelled at Robert um, which is really it's not our fault and it's definitely not their fault because they're on the road But trying our best to keep it clean um, Yeah When you farm it when you're in a community you have the right to farm everything else like that, but you do your best as As farmers to support the community because there is a lot of um, Community support going both ways but you know, Some people are just rude Car coming up hot on the skid steer as he's trying to clean the road. They're gonna go around him. No, nope, they did stop. Well, well, a couple more loads. Probably a couple more than a couple, but then this field will be done and uh, we'll be on to. We're literally doing some of the wettest stuff. We know we're trying to find dry stuff, but we know there's drier areas. Um, trying to hope that they dry out then you can get the trucks in then you don't have to do all this cart work this was what goes on when your dog is obsessed with chasing things and there's rabbits running yesterday he did get one today he's chased a few it's good exercise they're they're freaking fast and they'll run right between his legs so he sees there was one right there load or two left in here and uh, we'll be on to the next one we are done here and Yanko spent up quite a few minutes running around chasing uh, rabbits over the last 20 minutes because as the field disappears the rabbits have to run out so got him some exercise I got a load on me I'm gonna dump it into Robert uh, we're on to the next one so we are making progress Things are going good. We got the two trucks keeping up with me. They do a little bit of sitting, but at the end of the day, um, that's a lot better than the chopper sitting. We're stopped because, well, I am completely full opening up. That is the problem with the smaller wagons, but made it, made it a good amount around the field. They might actually be able to uh, run trucks in this field a little bit. But here comes Steve, another tractor. I gotta pull up and out of the way. Oh, he's coming in either way. And they'll uh, go get right after it. Yep. thing he's got to do with those when we're in wet conditions he's got to load the front so the tractor has all the weight on it you load the back and it will start picking the tractor actually up which is less than ideal so he blows it towards the front right into the beaters gets uh some weight on it holy smokes we are definitely loaded dirty windows this field is much much drier as far as the ground conditions corn's a little bit greener um it all goes off variety when it was planted in variety, but basically we're chopping an 84 day corn and 104 day corn, I think is what it is. So 
you got some some variation between it and uh, we're hoping that we can run the trucks a little bit in this that way we can top loads off maybe on the other on the back side we don't have to pull hills or nothing we're hoping keep keep the rhythm up we had a quick pit stop for some lunch put some hydraulic oil on this Richardson's dump wagon might have had a little uh, little leak and uh, chopper got all lubed up in the auto lube and we're right back into it so things are going good it's amazing what drier ground does for morale This is a rare sight. Trucks. Trucks in the field. Stay towards the road. Quite the pile coming together here. So they're rolling it pushing I might have a wheel bearing going out on this uh, cart so we're gonna pop that up they're filling more inoculant we're moving to the next field so, so bearing needed some snugging up so we're going through everything making sure it's all greased we even got Dan here we got everybody dream team good good job so popping the caps off tightening it Keeping the chopper busy right here. So the farm is right over there. You can see the pack push tractor actually going up. And uh, trucks rolling, tractors rolling. I'm filling in in between. Things are good. Things are actually really good. Corn's good. So I don't know if we're finishing this field and done. And then tomorrow's another day guys have been right after it piles looking pretty good piles definitely looking pretty good so we're gonna get everything cleaned up um blown out fueled up and tomorrow well we're gonna see what the running is we're got a distance so we might be running extra trucks we'll see well, i'll get over there Chopper's probably getting fuel. I gotta get fuel. That tractor's getting fuel. We're all getting fuel. Probably wash this off a little more. Quite a bit of uh, cleaning done. Now I can see again. Perfect. Just in time to go home. Wake up, do it all again tomorrow. A big jobber guy. How was it today? It's good, not bad. Not bad? Good day. Good day, tomorrow gonna be a better day? Yeah. Trucks in the field all day? That's what we're thinking. We might have a problem with the one field, but other than that, we'll, we'll get the trucks in there, whether we gotta tow them out or tow them in, they're going in. Wow, it, it's a good thing you're here for us because without you, we wouldn't be doing it. I appreciate that. <laughs> Alrighty, make sure you like. Follow, or subscribe. <laughs> And we'll see you guys no on the next comments. one. No dirty comments. No dirty comments. Rob, Rob loves Jake Breaks, so no dirty comments. You ready to go? Alrighty, we'll see you guys on the next one.